The adoption of the UNGPs represented an important milestone in recognizing human rights impacts that can occur in a business context and creating a framework by which such impacts can be minimized. Nevertheless, we have ongoing concerns regarding the implementation of the UNGPs. In particular, we are disturbed by the overt politicization of the UNGP framework by the Palestinian Authority and the network of terror-linked Palestinian NGOs in order to promote a destructive anti-peace agenda. As an initial matter, the UNGPs were specifically crafted in order to obtain broad stakeholder support. Nevertheless, activists have now campaigned in many jurisdictions to take this voluntary framework and instead adopt sweeping criteria for liability. It is unsurprising why efforts to do so in Switzerland and elsewhere have not been successful. Second, we remain disturbed that the UNGP process is being used to shift state obligations under international human rights law onto private actors. Greater focus must be made to strengthen state transparency, accountability, and good governance. Third, we remain concerned by the failure to expand the UNGPs beyond multinational enterprises to include NGOs and other actors that engage in significant economic activity and have staffing and budgets that often exceed those of many MNEs. Lastly, we continue to be greatly alarmed by the exploitation of the High Commissioner, the Palestinian Authority, and the network of Palestinian terror-linked NGOs of business and human rights mechanisms to promote anti-Semitic and anti-peace BDS. Instead of harnessing economic development to improve cooperation and coexistence, this campaign divides peoples and inflames conflict, resulting in the weakening of human rights protections. We therefore call on the High Commissioner and Member States to reject the discriminatory and defamatory settlements database and other BDS activities. Thank you.